Words cannot express how excited I am for today. It is Sunday, January. What? What is the? What is the day's date? <laughs> Can't even remember what day it is. All right. It is Sunday, January twenty fourth, two thousand twenty one, and it feels like we have been waiting for our first official trailer for this movie since two thousand seventeen, eighteen, for me at least, because. In 2014, when Godzilla finally came out, and I realized that it was going to get a sequel. Awesome, I was excited. Then you started hearing whispers about Legendary and Warner Brothers working together to make a King Kong movie. Didn't sound like coincidence. Something must have been brewing. And then Kong Skull Island comes out, starring Tom Hiddleston, and it's a new take on Kong, but it's more like an Americanized version of what Japan did with the character. And now, again, 20 years in the making, my childhood is coming back in a big way with these monster movies that I am just overjoyed about. <laughs> now, we're going to watch this trailer together for Godzilla vs. Kong that's going to be releasing in March. And I'm not going to lie to you. I've already seen the trailer once. And after watching the trailer once, I knew I wanted to come on and do a reaction video about it. So we're just going to jump right into this. You will hear profanity. I'm not going to hold back my feelings or excitement for this movie. This video is not made for kids. Please see if you can enjoy this along with me. Let's do this. This is our only chance. That was Japan, by the way. We have to take it. Ready? We need Kong. The world needs him. To stop what's coming. And this child. She's the only one who will communicate with. It's like they took Skeeter from the original uh, movie and just gave him a part in Gender Swap the character. I made a promise to protect her. And I think that in some way, she's the same. This is awesome. Here he comes! You can't stop him. You can't stop him. <laughs> it's Godzilla. I want to know what song is here. If anybody knows, my God. Godzilla. Fuck yeah! Look at that! Jeez! These are dangerous times. I love the neon. People we don't know why. There's something in the volcano that we're not seeing here. I'm not saying I'm here. This is the real one. There was a war. And they're the last ones standing. I can't wait to put greatness because I'm here. Who else? You're in my house now, motherfucker! <laughs> yes, I'm gonna stop it right there. No, 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 no. You, you go back to imagery that... Okay, there we go. We're gonna end it right there. We're gonna just let that hover on the screen. Now... There's a lot to take in with that, because there's a lot that we've been introduced to in the MonsterVerse, which is now three movies deep. This is going to be the fourth film. We had Godzilla giving us the whole idea that these monsters lived uh, for a while, like they were a secret. Then you come across Kong Skull Island, and you realize that there's like this entire culture of these monsters. It introduced Hollow Earth theory uh, in a very sort of subtle way. It gave you the idea that... 
you know, some of these monsters might be smarter than others. Maybe they're not all out to, uh, what is it, kill us. They're not all, like, the size of buildings, even though they are gigantic. Then we come to Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and we find out that there was an entire culture that worshipped the monsters as gods, and that every culture possibly had its own monster, etc., etc. These are big ideas to get into that's too long for this video and what I want to do right now, because we're here to talk about Godzilla vs. Kong, but we come across ideas like, where is it? This is the fight on the ship. Uh, Godzilla, oh my god, I want to stop and talk about it, but I, I just want to skip to the point that I'm trying to make. Like right there, this has got to be, that's the hollow earth. You can see over Kong's head there that he's like inside some sort of a massive, massive cave. So we're going to actually travel into the hollow earth. We are going to see what monsters populate the Hollow Earth. There have been toy leaks of these snakes with wings that Kong is beating the shit out of right here. I guess we thought that they were going to be a bigger threat in the movie. They still very well could be, but I think that they're going to be more like this movie's versions of the Skull Crawlers from Kong Skull Island, where uh, in between action sequences, really what you want to see is the monsters doing something. It's part of the reason why making these movies is sort of difficult. Marvel movies are easy because they're humans, they speak English and all that, and they can be proactive with dialogue and uh, scenes of that nature. But in a monster movie, humans are exposition machines, monsters do all the work. Uh, you want to see them be proactive in between their larger fights, and this is sort of a nice way to do that, I think. There's just so much that I want to get into, but like, these are my initial reactions. These are my initial thoughts on everything. Alexa, stop. I set a 10-minute alarm for my computer to boot up, but it already... Alexa, stop! Can't you see I'm talking about Godzilla? No. So, yeah, I am entirely hyped for this movie. I love this. Like, we thought that the utilization of color was amazing in Godzilla King of the Monsters. But then we start to see images like, there we go, one second, like right here, where he's roaring in the middle of the city, which I think might actually be Tokyo, Japan. Hold on a minute. Where? No, 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 no. Where? Where is it? Okay, let's just backtrack right here. I, I just want to find this image. There we go. Images like this, where the city is lit up. Even though it's in the dark, we know as the audience why they're trying to do that. Darkness can cover up or help to cover up bad CGI, but we know that these monsters are CGI. So maybe it might be a rendering issue, but we're getting fights in daylight. I would appreciate more fights in daylight, but this also looks epic. It's semi-futuristic. It's got like this cyberpunk quality to it, and I love it. And... I feel like somebody's going to point this out to me when they watch the video, but I can see the, the human characters that are popping up here. About 50% of the ones that are getting showcased in this trailer we've already seen in King of the Monsters and what have you. I know. I don't care. I'm here for Godzilla vs. Kong. <laughs> and as far as who I think is going to win, I don't care. I'm here for Godzilla vs. Kong. I just want to see the fight. Because at the end of the day, I'm here to have fun. I'm not here to debate who's going to win. It, it's fun to debate, but I've seen those conversations happening online, guys. It's just another reason for some people to start flame wars. So I just can't wait, and this is going to make my year. Later.